Hi, I'm NASA Kennedy's Carla Cook, and I'm outside KSC taking you inside KSC. The twin solid rocket boosters that will help NASA's Artemis I mission get off the ground next year are really coming together. Teams with Exploration Ground Systems and Contractor Jacobs have started stacking both of the five-segment boosters on top of the base of the mobile launcher inside Kennedy's historic vehicle assembly building. Manufactured by Northrop Grumman, the boosters provide more than 75% of the Space Launch System, or SLS rockets, total thrust at launch. The first in a series of increasingly complex missions, Artemis I will test the Orion spacecraft and SLS as an integrated system ahead of crewed flights to the moon. Under the Artemis program, NASA will land the first woman and the next man on the moon by 2024. NASA and SpaceX are gearing up for the company's 21st commercial resupply services mission to the International Space Station. The SpaceX CRS-21 mission will deliver more than three tons of science investigations, supplies, and equipment to the orbiting laboratory. This mission marks many unique firsts, including the first launch for SpaceX under NASA's CRS-2 contract, the first flight of the upgraded Cargo Dragon spacecraft, an Atlantic Ocean splashdown, autonomous docking, and many more. On board is the NanoRacks Bishop Airlock, the first commercially funded space station airlock designed to provide payload hosting, robotics testing, and satellite deployment. For more Inside KSC, check us out on social media and nasa.gov Kennedy.